and we are in line uh, 4B. Well, I forgot uh, 4A still had uh, a cross-reference scripture that we need to cover. And so uh, let's go ahead and cover those cross-reference scriptures. Deuteronomy 29, 2 through 8, because that's going to go with, we will not hide them from their children. So let's go with... Um, Twenty nine two through eight, that says, "Now Moses called all Israel and said to them, You have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land, the great trials with which your eyes have seen, the signs and those great wonders. Yet the Lord has not given you a heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear." To this very day. So that means that perceive. Um, giving giving you a heart to understand or know. Five. And I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not worn out on you. And your sandals have not worn out on your feet. Six. You have not eaten bread. Nor have you drunk wine or similar drink. That you may know that I am the Lord your God. And when you came to this place, Sihon king of Heshbon and Og king of Bashan came out against us to battle and we conquered them. We took their land and gave it as an inheritance to the Reubenites, to the Gadites, and to the half tribe of Manasseh. Therefore keep the words of this covenant and do them that you may prosper in all that you do. And so... Uh, for nine also sends us to Genesis eighteen nineteen. Genesis eighteen nineteen that says For I have known him in order that he may command his children and his household after him that they keep the way of the Lord and to do righteousness and justice that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him so now we're going to go back to psalm 78 and deal with 4b that says telling to the generation to come the praises of the lord so telling to the generation to come the praises of the lord and that sends us to exodus 13 8 and 14 Exodus 13, 8 and 14. That says, You shall tell your son in that day, saying, This is done because of what the Lord did for me when I came up from Egypt. And also 14. So it should be when your son asks in time, asks you in time to come, saying, What is this that you shall say to him by strength of hand? The Lord brought us out of Egypt out of the house of bondage and kids are going to ask questions they really are but it's up to us to be able to have that answer you know for them the C part of four says in his strength and his wonderful works that he's done so we will not hide them from um, their children telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done you have to be able to tell the next generation about the miracles and the wonderful works that God has done because you have to tell them that to help build up that faith in them how they're gonna know what God had done if no one is teaching them let's move into our next stanza line five for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. And so, let me see. Okay, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God, and not forget the works of God. 
but keep his commandments and may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not set his heart aright and whose spirit was not faithful to God. Okay, so now let's elaborate on five. So it says, for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. Now that sends us to Psalm 147, 19. And we're going to go over some of these, you know, I'm going to try to keep them in five minutes range, but we're going to have to go over some of them because this is just going to be, a, it's a long Psalm. Uh, 147, 19, that says, make sure. Yeah, 147, 19. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes, uh, and his judgments to Israel. All right, so that just to corroborate that. Now, also, it says, which he commanded our fathers that they should make known, make them known to their children. So we have some reference scriptures there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pause here, and then we'll pick up pick up those couple of reference scriptures in Deuteronomy.